Hi everyone! Today we're making a Mexican style shredded beef and pinto bean pot for weekly meal prep. I found this beautiful sirloin tip roast on sale at the store today, but you could also use other roasting or braising cuts like bottom round rump roast, chuck short ribs, brisket, or chuck roast. Avoid anything too too lean because we do want some fat. Look for a two to three pound roast that's a good deal on the day you shop. I'm cutting this one into smaller chunks so that I can get more surface area for browning and so that each chunk cooks evenly throughout. Then give it a good dusting of salt and rub it in. You want to do this just before putting it into the pot because salting it too early brings out some liquid and we want a dry surface to form a nice crust. I preheated my pot on the highest saute setting and now I'll add two to three tablespoons of a neutral flavored cooking oil. Sear on each side for about four to five minutes to form a brown crust. These fit in just fine, but if you have a larger roast, you may need to work in batches to avoid overcrowding the pot. If the pieces don't have separation between them, they'll steam instead of sear. Take your time with this step. Your patience will be rewarded with the amazing depth of flavor you'll get from the fond at the bottom of the pot. Once the meat is browned all over, move them to a holding dish as you continue to build flavor in the pot. A large chopped onion goes in and we'll let it cook down and soften for about six to eight minutes. As it releases its liquid, it'll help loosen up that fond on the bottom. And now we add in our spices and other ingredients. You can adjust these to your own taste, using less or more of anything as you like, but try these proportions the first time until you know what works for you. The spices will become really fragrant as you stir them throughout the pot for about a minute. We need four cups of water total for the recipe, but I just want to add a half cup or so at first to make sure I fully deglaze the bottom of the pot. Make sure that you completely scrape up any stuck on brown bits from the bottom to avoid getting a burn warning later. Then I'll pour in the rest of the water. Here I have two cups of dried pinto beans that I've picked over for rocks and debris and then rinse. No soaking is required, but you can go ahead and soak them overnight if you like. A small can of diced tomatoes with chilies, brand or heat level is completely up to you. Stir it all together so everything is evenly distributed throughout the pot. And now we can add our meat back in along with any collected juices. This will cook on high for one hour, followed by a natural pressure release, which should take about 15 to 20 minutes. I wish you guys could smell this, it's amazing in here. Checking out the beans real quick to see that they came out fully cooked and tender. Yep. And how about that tender fall apart meat? You can shred the meat in the pot, but I think it's neater and more thorough to do it on a separate plate. That way I make sure there aren't any huge unshredded chunks. And while you're shredding, you could optionally thicken up the cooking liquid if you want a more gravy-like consistency. Just set the pot onto a low or medium saute and add a flour or cornstarch and water slurry, whisking until the gravy is as thick as you want it. I'm skipping that this time and just adding the shredded meat back into the pot to keep warm until serving. Serve it up however you like. We're doing rice today during recording, but it's also great with potatoes, grilled bread, naan, soft tortillas or tortilla chips, or simply as is. Well, that's it for today's video. I hope you give this a shot as it's super simple, affordable, and delicious. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment below because I love to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.